Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' in the well. Booty, 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 rockin' in the well. We literally have 14 patients today, y'all. Like, these new patients need to pick up. Let's see, 14. Let's look. <sighs> Typical day for a medical assistant on a Monday. Mon Y'all, I forgot my dog on earrings. Put some medical assistant without her earrings. But this video is going to be medical assistant versus RN. Now, you can't really do a comparison with them, but it's certain stuff you can say. So, y'all stay tuned. I definitely feel like those are the difference we should know as far as for medical assistant and RN. We both pay, we both play a major practice as far as for medical, but however, it's certain things we're so much entitled to that I feel like that should be clear as far as for most medical assistants. All right, so YouTube, this video is specifically just to talk about certified medical assistant and also registered nurse. Now, like I said, I know you cannot compare the two, but however, there are certain things that I feel like we should know as far as for which um, most people usually want to start off as a medical assistant and then end up transferring to become an um, RN as far as for a continuing education. But here's some things I feel like that should be known. So um, with CMAs and also RNs, they are as to assist the licensed doctors and other medical professionals. And they're also responsible for general treatment and care as far as for many of patients. Um, a couple of things that I can say for medical assistants, pretty much they have the opportunity to work either in a clinic or um, administrative setting. Now, most of the time, RNs don't too much get that um, advantage because usually RNs are pretty much doing a lot of clinical work than administrative work. So that pretty much ties in. Now, they do get to do both, but however, it says the most part would mainly be clinical than administrative. Whenever it comes to um, the pay as far as for a medical assistant, you're usually average around like to the most either 12 to 15 dollars an hour it also depends on the state that you're located as well too but when it comes to the rn rns usually make at least about 32 dollars an hour um like i said it also depends on the location and state that you're in um for registered nurse there's 15 percent growth as far as for the job and for medical assistant it's 29 percent usually a lot of people do get hired on as far as for medical assistant than rns but however with rns it's major now as far as for the coronavirus so the percentage i'm pretty sure is way much up for rn than it is medical assistant right now but we're kind of head to head because you need both an rn and kind of like a medical assistant when dealing with um anything dealing with the patient before being seen by the physician um <clears throat> Another thing I can say is that um, when becoming an RN, you have to um, go to nursing school. Now, some of the options that they have for RN, they have um, you can complete a nursing diploma offered by a hospital, which usually takes up to three years. So I know sometimes some hospitals can hire you on um, as an RN, and they are pretty much you know continue to make sure that you're able to work with them or whatnot um, throughout your whole entire time for schooling. Um, also, they have where you can obtain an associate's degree, which can take up to two to three years. And they also have where you can attain a bachelor's degree, which can take up to four years. Um, and for medical assistant, either you can do an associate or a bachelor's degree, but however, the most part is basically a certification. You'll have to make sure that you renew it every five years. And that's pretty much the simple thing when becoming a medical assistant. It usually takes up to like 13 months when becoming a medical assistant. So some of the program details when it comes to nursing, you pretty much have heavy focus on biology, anatomy, physiology, medical terminology, and it also depends on the program. But um, students may spend practical time either in a hospital or a non-hospital setting as well. So you'll kind of be getting the experience of both. And that kind of ties in where the hospital pretty much may hire you on as RN, just so you can kind of get a lot more experience with the setting at the hospital and also settings with non-hospital. Because the classrooms pretty much look just like how it would look in a hospital setting. <clears throat> a medical assistant program could take up to one to two years. Um, but however, you pretty much get the experience with lab classes and clinical classes. So a lot of our classes were more so like um, how it would look when you go to a medical office to get your vital signs taken or if you're trying to have like an EKG taken or whatnot. That's how the classrooms were set up. Now, in order for the nursing exam, the NCLEX exam, you have to make sure that you pass that exam to become um, a licensed RN. And then, you know, they, of course they have other certifications that you can do as far as for RN that goes a little bit more in depth. I don't too much have so much information on RN because I'm not an RN yet. Most people that when they take the um, NC Lex exam or whatnot, I don't know what they usually call it, but um, when they usually take those exams, some people say it's a hit or miss. You can sometimes pass on the first try or you can sometimes pass on the second try. It all depends on what type of studying and material you're getting. But however, um, I'm pretty sure at the school pretty much 
sums it up and gets you prepared and ready for the exam, you should be pretty much decent on that. But however, on the medical assistant behalf, you have to obtain your degree from a program or shall I say certification from a program. And also, um, in order to become eligible for the certification, you will either take it with NCCT, you also have AAMA, like certain certifications you have to go through for that. But medical assistant is really easy. All you have to do is sort of pretty much obtain your certification for like five years and you're good on that. But I don't know how many times you have to renew the RN certification, so I'll have to look into that. Just for the settings where um, nursing is pretty much work at, nursing can work either in a nursing home or they could work as far as for hospital or doctor's office. Um, pretty much larger practice, that's pretty much where you'll see the nurses at unless you're LPN. And it goes the same thing for medical assistant. Medical assistants can either work at um, uh, outpatients or it could work at surgical centers. They could also work at lab places. It all just depends. It's a variety of it. But for the most part, when it, you're talking the difference between certified medical assistant and also registered nurse, I feel like like a lot of people of course are going to give a lot of points to the registered nurse but i do definitely feel as if like medical assistant play a big part just as much as the nurses because we deal with a lot of a lot of attitude you know with the patients and whatnot and also whenever the patient comes to the practice we're usually the first person that they're going to see it'll either be the medical assistant or it'll either be the nurse the last person that they're going to see is the physician so however i feel like we do just as much work as them not saying you have to praise us so much as them because at the end of the day nurses do spend a lot of time especially er nurses they spend a lot of time with the patients and whatnot non-stop busy and everything like that but however i just feel like some medical assistants should get appreciation because we deal with so much like from the patient's attitude to handling prior authorization we're mainly the ones that get a lot of stuff ready for their rns half of the time so you know it's a lot of work as far as for that now um Another thing as well too, like when being a CNA, if you're not really getting as much information or uh, orders directed by the physician, you usually have to take orders from the RN. And it's a lot of like, you know, it's sometimes not as organized sometimes when dealing with that. I prefer to have orders taken by a physician than the RN because at the end of the day, RN is technically, okay, so medical assistance right here. I feel as if like an RN is basically right here. Why? Of course, you have a physician that's way up here, but I feel it's like if we're still kind of right here, we're still kind of both playing roles for a physician right here, still treat me like, you know, how you're supposed to be treated. I just feel like sometimes RNs too much get ahead of themselves, so um, it's all just part of the medical practice. But however, um, if you guys have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments below.